Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby with Fitness is Medicine. And I'm back again today to show you another great workout you can do in your home with minimal equipment and minimal space. So today we're gonna do a workout using only a band. So I know a lot of you have bands at home. Many people get them um, if they have physical therapy or you know they've bought them at the store. They're cheap, they're easy to have around and they don't take up much space. So. We're gonna use a band for this entire workout. Um, and I have a couple different bands set up to do, to show you a few different workouts or to show you a few different exercises, but um, you can do them all with one. So let's get started. Remember to start with a good warm up before you do these exercises. So if you need to, you can press pause and go get your warm up in a good five to 10 minutes to get your heart rate up, get your muscles warmed up and ready to move. Okay, so grab your band and we're gonna start with a standing exercise to begin with. So what I want you to do is we're going to lunge forward with the bent knee in the front and a straight knee in the back. So what I'm trying to do is give your back some support. We're going to do a one arm row with a single lunge. So leaning forward, you want your leg to support your body weight here. So I'm trying to avoid any back pain. If you do have back pain, you can do this leaning over um, like a a coffee table or a bench or something like that. You can support yourself also on your knee with your opposite hand. So we're just going to row this way. So you're driving your elbow towards the ceiling. Now I am leaning forward a little bit. I'm keeping my abs engaged to protect my back. You can adjust the resistance here by holding on a little tighter or by loosening it up if you need to. So I am just trying to think about my shoulder blades squeezing back, my elbow pushing towards the ceiling, and keeping my abs engaged to protect my back. Also, this is a good quad exercise, so that standing lunge is, that static lunge, is really working that quad, so you're really gonna feel that as well. Okay, now we're gonna switch sides. So I'm gonna step on it with my opposite foot. Lunge forward, you have a good grip on that band. Sometimes if you wrap it around your hand, it can feel a little better. Or you can use ones that have handles. Excuse me, I'm losing my balance here. All right, so pull up. Remember you're leaning over this, your quad is engaged, your knee is right over your ankle. Keeping your core engaged here to protect your low back. Driving your elbow towards the ceiling and squeezing your back. Eight, nine, 10. Good, all right, that's the one arm row with the lunge. Okay, next we're going to lower to the floor and do a chest press with a bridge. So what I want you to do is take that band and wrap it around your back about right here, maybe a little higher, so kind of right under your shoulders. We're going to lie down on the floor we need to make sure. Okay, so in this chest press here, or in this position, I want you to get a good grip on the bands here. We're going to do a chest press. So pushing up towards the ceiling. So you kind of want it right under your armpits. Try that a couple times and see how it feels. You can adjust the grip, like I said, make it a little tighter to make it harder, loosen it up to make it more difficult. Also, you can double up bands to make them more difficult. To add a little bit more challenge to this, I'm gonna have you go up into a bridge. So remember, when we go up into a bridge, flatten your back to the mat, to the floor, press up, squeezing your glutes, and then we're gonna press straight up towards the ceiling with that chest press. So we're going to get more of a full body workout here with this exercise. So we're working your glutes, and your hamstrings, a little bit of core, and your triceps and your chest here. So we're getting a lot of muscle groups here with this, this chest press in a bridge. All right, good. Now we're gonna stand back up, and I'm doing this purposely. Standing up, sitting down, standing up, going back down. It's good to practice standing up and getting back up off the ground. So next we're gonna stand on the band again. 
And you can start by standing on it with both feet. It depends on the strength of your band or the length of your band, I should say, both. If you have a really short band, you could do this seated so that you put it under your, you know, your foot and then you sit down and you have a lot less um, range of motion. But if you can, I want to try this in a single leg stance. So we're going to incorporate some balance here. So just put it under one foot, pick up your other foot, and then we're going to do slow biceps curls. So I am anchoring my elbows at my side, squeezing up, bringing that band towards my shoulders each time, and then importantly, going slowly on the way back down. Now, if you do two to three sets of these, you can just switch feet. Um, but if you only do one set, you wanna switch feet about halfway through. And if you're really struggling with this, maybe switch feet halfway through so that you really challenge both, both legs, both sides here. If you feel like it's a little bit difficult for you to do that. You could try it in a tandem stance. So one foot in front of the other like this. That's a little bit more doable for some people. Um, and if you really can't do either, just make sure you get the biceps curl in. That's really the, the focus of that exercise. Okay, now we're gonna go back down to the floor. I've got a band here in the patio door. Oh, we're not going to the floor, I changed it. We're gonna stand. So I've got this, I've got my strap through the patio door so I can hang on to it. So if you have this type of band where you have a, um, a door hinge, so this has a, um, an anchor on it that I can slam in the door and then it's safe to put into a door and you can use it for any type of door. I'm using my patio door here. So we're going to do a banded lat pull. So in a little bit of a squat, knees over your ankles, your hips are sitting back, and then you're gonna pull. So pull those handles or the band straight towards your armpits. So if you were to sit up in a lat pull machine, this is the motion you would be doing, pulling that towards your armpits. Now, importantly, I'm keeping my shoulders down away from my ears. You don't want them coming up here. That creates neck pain and shoulder pain, and there's enough of that in the world. <laughs> so we're just going to do right here, driving your elbows straight across to the opposite wall. Your knees are staying over your ankles, keeping your abs engaged. Your back is nice and flat, and your head is also in line with the rest of your spine. So you're not looking up like this or looking way down. You just want to keep it straight in line bringing those elbows straight down. Now, if you have any elbow or shoulder pain with this, bring it in and pull here. This should alleviate any of that if you are having any joint pain with this particular exercise. Okay, that is the banded lat pull. Okay, finally, no, not finally, two more to go. Next, we're going to do sidestepping with the band. So. If you have a band that's long enough, you can step on it like this. I'm gonna kind of fold it in half a little bit here. And then hold it right in front of you. And we're going to step to the side. So I'm gonna show you this from the front, stepping to the side. Now, keeping your toes facing straight forward. That requires your glutes to have to work to move your legs side to side. If you're, most people, when they start to do this, their toe wants to start leading out like this because our hips, our hip flexors and our quads are stronger and they wanna take over. So we really have to focus on keeping our toes straight forward and I often tell people even to turn them in just a little and you can really feel that back here in your glutes. So I'm keeping the tension on the band. I'm not letting it come all the way together and then taking a step. Keep that tension on that band 
And also my knees are bent and my hips are back. So I'm not just standing up straight doing this. My knees are bent, my hips are back. It's kind of an athletic stance, it's not really a squat. But I want you to realize that I do have that, not just stepping side to side like this. So we're not taking very big steps and you don't need to, but the important thing is to keep those toes straight forward. Go back and forth a few times. If you've got a long hallway, you can go, you know, 10 times one way, 10 back the other way. And that is plenty for this one. You should be really feeling it back here. I know I am. Okay, finally, I'm gonna have you lower down to the floor for a plank. So we're not using the band for this one, but all the way down on the floor. I'm gonna have you do it. Actually, you can do it any way you want. If you wanna do it on your hands or on your elbows, either way, lots of times doing a plank on their hand, on your hands can bother your wrists and that's okay. I'm gonna do mine on my hands today. So when you go up into a plank, you want your, sh your hands below your shoulders. You don't want them out here, directly below your shoulders. You want a straight line from your heels to the top of your head. So if you can, start in a full plank, really keeping those hips down so that you are in a straight line. Try to keep your feet together. One way to make this a little bit easier is to spread your feet apart a little bit, especially if you're a beginner to this exercise. The other way you can do it is do it against a kitchen counter for a really beginner way. Then you can also lower it down to like a bench or a chair, like a kitchen chair. And then also, if this is too much, do your knees. But importantly still, I have a straight line from where my knees are up to the top of my head. If you can, you can, you know, to challenge yourself, you could try a few seconds up on your toes and then lower back down into your knees. A few seconds up on your toes. You can even try one, go back up, try the other, go back up. You can challenge yourself in little bits. You don't have to do all or nothing. You can try the little bits at a time to try to challenge yourself to do that next level, even just for a little bit. Okay. Go ahead and do these through um, one or two more times at least, and then follow with a good stretch at the end. Let me know if you have any questions and keep moving everybody. I hope you're having a great week. See you soon.